TRTH, or Translational Research Training in Hematology, is about taking people who have a passionate interest in becoming translational researchers in hematology. So the TRTH course started 10 years ago now, uh, but of course there was three years of preparation of work involved in setting the program up. There were a number of individuals who were pure PhDs who saw the need to educate translational researchers to really partner with the clinicians to understand what the issues were and to move the field forward with laboratory-based research that was consistent with the clinical picture presented by the patients. So with Ash we met and we came up with a program that we both agreed was needed and would be a very important and we spent three years putting the program together, getting the funding to set it up in, um, in 2010. We accept people with an MD degree, we accept people with an MD-PhD degree, and we are also probably the only hematology training program that accepts people who are PhDs only. The key aspects for planning the program going forward are to find the stage of career, whenever it is, it may change in 10 years, where people are feeling most career sensitive, uh, because that's where they can really benefit from the support of mentorship. And we put all these people together in this very intense week. People discover how passionate not only they are, they know how passionate they are about translational research, but they discover that there are other people just like them. For me, that was important because I was at the you know, tail end of a postdoc looking to get an academic job. And within two years of leaving TRTH, I had that academic job and I'd sourced a lot of information from the people that I'd met here. You know, either from the faculty side of what would universities be looking for, or from the trainee side in terms of help for applications and what should go in and how should it look and these sorts of things. So, so for me, at that career stage, it was really valuable. I think they are truly going to become the leaders in this field in the future, but we need to give them a little more support for that unique position that they're going to occupy. These cells, they are, they've been studied for so many years. I think it's like 50 or 60 that they are already being used in the clinic for the bone marrow transplants. But still, we don't understand their biology completely. And also, we don't understand how all these um, hematopoietic malignancies arise and how we can treat them. Most of them, they are still the treatment is not perfect and they are not curable, so this really intrigued me to, to get into this uh, field already since my uh, PhD, so that's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I would say definitely apply and don't think that you're not qualified um, because that's what I thought. I thought that I would not get in, that I'm not the ideal applicant because I, um, I don't have a, a PhD, but that, that really wasn't the case. I was very pleasantly surprised by how much um, the uh, faculty really believed in me and they helped me recognize these other strengths that I had in terms of being able to conduct research and ask meaningful questions. So I would definitely say that they should not think twice about applying. I think the key word about TRTH is growth. You're a very different person and a very different scientist when you leave than when you come. Um, and I think that's what we all wanted to gain out of the program coming, and I'm really thrilled to say that it's true. And I will go back to my institution more confident and more competent in my research because of the growth that I've experienced here. You have to have a certain amount of vision to want to be a translational researcher in hematology. And I think we do a darn good job of selecting people who have already felt in themselves the striving to achieve that vision. We're going to have very experienced faculty devoting very considerable time, not just at this meeting, but going forward in people's career to help advance the careers of very promising researchers and clinicians in hematology.